What is up? Welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, I am not in my normal fancy Paris studio. I am actually in the countryside. We are in the south of France and look, I'm in this amazing farm. Like there's a little fire going, also the only source of heat. And you don't see this now, but on the other side of the camera, there is forest. We're looking at a field, it's, it, this is amazing. So of course we are here because there's yet another lockdown in Paris. And we already thought there's gonna be another lockdown. So we made some preparations and we spoke to some friends and they offered us to stay with them on their farm. And you know what, here we are. And so while adding wood to the fire this morning, my brain went into this kind of, how do you say, like a spin, shall we say? Anyways, um, I did this because a while back, my colleague told me, dude, you rebuilt your website. Awesome. I looked at your SEO. Kind of awesome, not completely, because your sitemap XML doesn't have your blog posts in them. And I was like, what? I write those things to be found for Google, right? And I just assumed having the sitemap plugin into a system that allows you to write blog posts would actually include those. As it turns out, those routes for the blog posts are actually dynamic. And the Nuxt plugin doesn't actually include dynamic uh, URLs. So that's why my brain was spinning and I thought, I know it, I know what to do. So I did a bit of research and in this video, I'm going to show you how I really easily added dynamic routes to my sitemap. Let's rock. All right, so if you look at my screen, you will see a st relatively standard Nuxt config JS file. And you can see here, I'll select it for you. There is actually my sitemap uh, plugin. So you literally just install it by yarn or NPM and just like add Nuxt.js slash sitemap. Very simple. And you know, if you just don't do anything, um, very simple stuff, so you just say, okay, path sitemap, you add your host name, a bit of caching stuff. And for me, I also have a start page that opens when I uh, open a tab. I don't want that to be in my sitemap, nobody needs that. Um, so that's a very basic one. And as you can see, I just, on the right side here, I just did a uh, Nux generate. I'm not gonna do it on the video because it takes a while, I have a bunch of content. So you can see all those routes are generated, right? So then the sitemap comes out. And then when we look at the sitemap, there's only about speaking, videos, writing, and my homepage. But like the video pages and actually the writing pages, they're not in there. And this started to worry me a little bit now because these pages that are in the sitemap, I don't care about. Well, little, my homepage maybe. But like the speaking page maybe has a list of my speaking, but like the writing stuff actually has actual content. So that needs to be fixed. Um, so to do that, um, there's a couple of ways, but as you can see here in the panel on the right side, all those routes are generated. So somewhere in the magical box of Nuxt, when you hit generate, you have all those URLs. So why doesn't the sitemap just grab those? So in Nuxt you have modules and you have hooks and you have generator classes, right? So I actually um, went in a relatively uh, complex way to find all those URLs and add them to the sitemap. Because I need to say though, if you only have like five dynamic pages, you can actually just put roots as an array and put the URLs in there. But like for me, I have like 50 videos. I have like a whole bunch of stuff that needs to get in. So um, what I decided to do is use the generate done hook and then get and then look in the hook after generation, what information was in that, comp in that context that came you know, out of that function. And so I built a little module that runs, um, so it's in the context of next. And as you can see here, next hook, generate done. So when the generation of your blog is done, you get a context. And in that context, as it turns out, there is generated roots. It's like a set. So um, without, with ignoring this for a little bit, what I actually did, I took all that set, I made it into an array, and then I just give that to the sitemap as roots and done. Why this is not in the sitemap module? I don't actually know. I feel a PR coming. Anyways, so, um, 
I knew this basic, this is quite basic, right? You just put everything in there. But what I actually thought of, like I have this start page thing, or maybe I have an admin panel or something like that, or something secret that I don't want in that sitemap. So I thought, why not just make an um, environment variable where you just make a little list of ignored routes. If you have those, um, I will then just filter all those routes. And let me just slide that a little. And then filter them without the routes I don't want and give those to the sitemap, right? So the only thing I have to do now is go to my build modules, put the module in and run. Okay, so this is gonna take a little bit but we'll just wait for it and I'll probably speed up the video, but there we go. Approximately 10 hours later. Almost. Yes, okay, rendering, rendering. Generating stuff, here it goes, yes. And there was the generating sitemap. Okay, so let's open sitemap again and beam. It is full of all my roots. And you know what? This is a short video. There you go. This is all there is to it. Happy coding. Cheers.